A crazy title. Is there a doctor on the narrow road that understands? Understands what? But you can only hear on the narrow road. You don't hear the left, you don't hear to the right. You can only hear just from the narrow road that leads somewhere. Where is it leading? Out of this world. Beyond this world. And it's narrow minded thinking, thinking they know something, not realizing. To come to understand what the Father's saying, you gotta become though you know nothing. Because next to God, what we know is nothing. God's gonna prove the wisdom of this world to be foolishness. So I'm looking for a doctor. You can hear what I'm saying. And I see that it's my opinion of somebody that's esteemed as not the eyes of this world with all their credentials, who doesn't come to you with credentials, but comes to you claiming for what God has given in His mercy and grace the right to say, I am a son of God. To what Jesus Christ accomplished. Is there a doctor out there that can hear this? That we could have this fellowship of the mystery? Of coming to realize that we were supposed to be manifest as sons of God and not these stupid sons and daughters of men thinking they know something that they have created totally independent from God's image of who they really are. Is there a doctor out there? One's not so sacral minded or religious minded they can't begin to hear what the Father has to share. To anyone that discovers that they got another mind independent from this carnal, self-created, self-willed mind, secular or religious, has discovered they have a mind in their human spirit given to them by God their Father that's eternal and contains the total wisdom and knowledge of God waiting to be worked out in stages as they, by an act of their free will of their fallen carnal soul, surrender, give up thinking they know anything and become as though they know nothing. And now in God, to undo what's been done to him and renew his fallen mind according to the dictates of exchanging this mind for the mind that they were born with, intrinsically born, eternally born, to the first begotten Son of God, Jesus, the first fruit among many who came to deliver us from this embodiment of death. First raised from the dead, thus being in that body and understanding what that means, how we really are in that body, death, burial, and resurrection identify with that. And sitting in heavenly places with him, in this new being, laying this old self decay, discovering that the out man is decaying, embodying the mind, yet being renewed in their spirit, increasing with the increase of God, discovering who they were, becoming known as they were known by the Father after His image, not this temporal image we have created independent from God, of some particular race, culture, creed, or gender. They're hard to find. When Jesus said there would be few, He meant it. And He also said that when I come, will I find it? Will He find it? But Paul had hoped for, but no man would have to say to his neighbor, know the Lord, because all would have known him from the least to the greatest. He had this great hope that all would have discovered this mystery revealed to him, and him revealing it to us, that we are sons of God. Wearing a mask, hiding this back. So, Doc, remove your surgical mask, and while you're at it, 
remove this mask of flesh that hides who you truly are. Is there one out there that's done that, knows that? I'd like to hear from you. We may have a fellowship of this mystery in Christ.